What's going on guys real quick lesson here um, on like my I'm doing like a whole series on on overlapping boxes right and um, the goal on this was we you know we've been talking a lot about playing changes over uh, or versus playing scales and how there's an application for both and how I'm personally working on playing over changes so a lot of these are for you and for me both. Um, so let's just kind of dig right in here. Um, we all know how much the one chord and the four chord are related. So let's look at their relation as far as the boxes that overlap, okay? So we're going to start here with our A. Let's just do this in A. I've been doing videos today in A for some reason. So let's do this in A, and let's just say we're, we're playing over an A7 vibe. So we're, we have the freedom of everything in our minor pentatonic. We could do our, our major uh, third if we want. We could do the major six, major six if we want. We're probably gonna stay away from the, that major seven. We'll keep that like a mixo thing and flat that. Um, but, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll consider that our A box here, right? So like, let's just call our A minor pentatonic our box. But let's remember to highlight the third. Okay, because that's gonna differentiate from us just moving up a box and doing the same exact thing because now I wanna kinda of show you how when you get to the four chord, all you have to do is move that same shape up an entire two frets here and you're gonna be in your D major pentatonic box, right? So here you're in your A minor pentatonic box. But two frets away from it is your the four chords major pentatonic box, if that makes sense. So, to, you know, in context, then when the, when the four chord gets there, you can... Right, you can move up there, then, you know, back to your one... Right, then back to your one chord. Um, now, also another cool box I like to use going from the one to the four when you're right here in your one, uh, your first position um, minor pentatonic, you know, playing over like an, an A or an A7. Um, we're going to keep this to major. You're playing over major chords right now. Um, so um, we'll get down the road, we'll get into how the minor chords how they'll how will they'll affect this um and it's actually pretty cool because a lot of it you can do a lot of super imposing and a lot of it sounds really neat so we'll get to that down the road anyway the other box i like to use you have your four chord right here right so if you're at your one chord here we all know you're playing your d here for the most part right well that box is filled with licks that's not just a chord that those are notes, right? So there, you don't have to just play it like a chord or that seven, right? And then like that, and Josh Smith talks a lot about this of like, if you would do this with your chord movement, do it with your soloing too. You know, do like try these things out that if they sound cool doing them with the chord movement, they, they're going to probably sound pretty cool and build some tension and be cool devices to use in your soloing as well. So, um, but back to this box here, there's so many licks out of this box and obviously you can carry this over here to the major pentatonic box that we just talked about, but even just staying in this, You got so much right here that you can build um, some vocabulary of the D chord off of, right? And then obviously 
this is just one small chunk and section of the fretboard, but I just kind of want to show you, um, you know, just get you started. If you're just starting down this road, like kind of I am, it's, it's been a fun journey, but, um, you know, I didn't grow up playing like, uh, as much country, more, maybe more Southern rock, but not country in the sense of like some of the guys I listen to now that even take more of a jazzy approach. And even if it's a simplistic jet, like a, a, a redneck jazz approach, um, as Danny Gatton would say, it still um, has that flavor to it. And I, 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 I appreciate it. I'm learning, trying to learn it slowly. So, um, you know, let's, let's together, let's, let's take it in baby steps here. And that's just a good one for uh, box layering there for you to kind of just noodle around with. And, and uh, once again, um, practice this in uh, context with backing tracks, looping, that kind of thing, um, so that you're not just, you don't want to just noodle. You know, instead, hear something in your head, even if you're... saying like you just I'm, I'm hearing the chord movements into my head so it's gonna sound more like still and John Mayer talks about doing that just is that way you're not just like noodling it out and I kind of was noodling earlier so I'm sorry for setting a bad example you guys I'll put on my dunce cap and and go sit in time out um just playing much love you guys I've rambled on enough uh we'll continue to be continued <laughs> much love you guys like subscribe and share if you'd be so kind and I will see you on the flip peace